Don't watch this video. I'm gonna reveal some really harsh truth. You might be the type of music artist that needs to hear this, but you're not gonna like it. I've been doing music for over 13 years. I've seen a lot of false, I've seen a lot of truth. I wanna tell it in this video. In the last 12 months, I went from making just $2,000 a month and being $25,000 in credit card debt to now making music a full-time career. I'm telling you this because you need to know the truth. You need to know that there's a missing piece that you and 99% of artists are missing. So if you wanna be part of the 1% of artists who make it, then watch this video. But if you get hurt and end up hating me after watching this video, then unsubscribe to my channel unfollow me on Instagram and every other social platform and don't ever listen to me again. Let's dive in. So here's why you're failing. Here's the truth. You're a great songwriter. You can rap, you can sing, you can make great songs, you can collab with people, everything like that. Get on stage, you perform, right? You do your thing, you, you make good music, arguably great music, but it's literally been years. It's been years since you started doing music. And by years, I'm gonna talk five plus. You've literally been doing the same shit. You've been falling victim to your same limiting beliefs this entire time. And the truth is, the reason you're not making it is because you're broke. And I'm not just talking about broke in the bank account. That's a huge reason too. It's up here. And look, this isn't gonna be like one of those fucking mindset videos. I'm gonna talk some real shit. Let's start with the broke in the bank account thing. When you're making music, if you wanna make music a full-time thing, you're making a business. I don't get why fucking so many artists don't get this. You're making a business. It takes money to make money. If you want to actually get something going with your music career, you have to put in the money, not just put in the work, not just believe yourself, not just put in the work in your craft. You have to actually put money into it. I don't get why people don't get this. I don't get why you don't get this. It's really simple. Maybe you have a job, you're working, you're making one, two, maybe 3K a month, but you're not making enough to even really live, let alone enough to invest in yourself and invest into mentorship if you needed it or invest into paying for advertising or any of this stuff. And you know what's funny is even with that, you're still not making a change, right? You're you're still doing the same thing. And and what you're saying to yourself when you don't want to actually go make a change is, well, I don't want to, I don't want to go get an extra job because that's not me. I don't want to do that. I need time to focus on my music. Well, here's the truth. You don't need more time. You need money. When I was doing making fucking two thousand dollars a month on my music career, I had two side hustles. Okay, I didn't work for anybody, but I was also twenty five thousand in credit card debt, and shit wasn't going right. Like I was trying, busting it, doing my thing, whatever. And honestly, you know, huge credit to my wife. She's the one who told me you need to get a fucking job. She didn't say the f word, but like I always like to rephrase it like that. But she's like, you need to, you need to get a job. You know, she's like, Lee, I know you don't want to work for anybody. I know that that's not in your personality but you need it. You need the money right now. We need the money right now. And I was like, shit, you're right. Went and got a job at a coffee shop. That extra money is the money I was able to invest into mentorship. It was the money I was able to invest into advertising because I understood. I mean, my wife had to knock my head for me to understand it, but whatever, I, I got the lesson either way. The truth is I had a very similar mindset to you. I didn't feel like I needed to get an extra job. I just wanted to grind it out. And it's like, you're not gonna build your business organically. You're not gonna build your music career organically. You gotta put money into it. If you don't have money, go get more money. That's the truth. That's the reason you're not making it because you're fucking broke because you don't have money. You don't have money to put into anything. Now, there's a difference between having a broke bank account and having a broke bank account and broke mindset because I, I was broke and I definitely had problems with the mindset, but there was one thing I never had problems with in my mindset and it was not just believing in myself. That's not it. Oh, I believe him. No, fuck that. Doing whatever it takes to get there. Even if it meant I had to go sacrifice my pride and go get a job and work for somebody. I said, fuck it, I gotta do what I gotta do. And that's why you're not gonna fucking make it because you don't have that same attitude because your mindset is like, I'm making barely any money and I'm on a budget. And you just adopt the mindset that you're on a budget, AKA I'm broke and will be broke forever. And that's the reason that, that right there is the reason 99% of artists don't make it, why you're not gonna make it and why only 1% will make it. That distinction, are you actually willing to do whatever it takes? not just make more songs, not just do the hard work. Doing whatever it takes doesn't just mean working hard. It means working smart. It means actually, oh, maybe actually if I had a job that I was making good money in and I could put money into my music, I might make it in my music career. Wow, what a fucking concept. But if you actually take that mindset and say, I'm gonna go do this, maybe you have a job right now, go get another one, go get another job or get a higher paying job. Cause then with that job, you can take the money, invest it into ads, invest it into marketing, invest into better videos, Maybe you need a mentor, maybe you need someone to help you, you can invest into that. But then when something comes along, when an opportunity actually comes along, what happens? Oh, I can't do it, oh my bad, my finances, I'm broke. That's your fucking problem that you're broke, dude. That's your fault. You just keep living in that mindset. You basically, what the truth is, 99%, 1%, 99% settle for less. Whereas the 1% of artists, hopefully you, 
me, say, fuck that, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Fuck it, I'll go work at the coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? I'll whip up some espresso, I'll take orders. I'll go get two video editing clients instead of just having one. I'll go get more basketball training clients. I'll work three jobs and build my music business at the same fucking time because that's what the fuck it takes. But you, you, you motherfucking brokies out here watching this video, they're, you're, you're, you're fucking Oh no, I can't do that. I don't want to need another job. All right, all right. You're a bitch, basically. You're not willing to actually do what it takes to get to where you need to go in your music career. That's why you're not gonna make it. It's not cause the industry, it's not cause, oh marketing, oh I need a following, oh shit is fake these days, oh man, I don't got nobody supporting me. No, none of those broke ass, bitch ass excuses. That's not why you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it cause it's your fucking fault, cause you're broke in the bank and you're broke in the mindset. If you're broke in the bank, I get it, I've been there, but my mindset was never broke. I believed in myself, obviously you have to have that, and I was willing and I did whatever it took to actually make my music dreams come true. I said fuck you to those excuses, said fuck you to those limiting beliefs, and I said let's fucking go, let's fucking do this thing. I decided to produce my own music, I decided to make my dreams come true. I was 2K, making 2K a month, 25,000 in credit card debt, and guess what I never did? I didn't get cynical, I didn't say fuck coaching, fuck mentorship, fuck music. I kept spending money. I went and spent 15, you're not gonna believe this, $15,000 on coaching before finding the coach that hit me with the truth, which was Jeremy Pogue in Summit Acquisition. Started working with Jeremy within one month of me working with him. I was, swear to God, one month of working with him, I went and was able to replace those three part-time jobs with just music. Music made more money than my three part-time jobs combined. Working with one mentor, it took one month. In the second month, I quit those three part-time jobs. Four months, after working with this one mentor and I'm doing 10 to 15K a month because I didn't get cynical. I was broke. I was barely making it. I was in debt. I didn't let that get in my way. I kept spending money. I went and spent 15 grand on coaching that didn't fucking work and I still didn't get cynical. Still, because I said, I know I need somebody. I know I need the right person and I went and found them and it did work. But the reason you probably aren't gonna make it is because you're fucking cynical. You don't do what it takes. You wanna be in the 99%. Prove me wrong. If you're in one of the 1%, Get out of that mindset, stop acting like a bitch, invest in yourself, be the 1%, make music full time, do whatever it takes. Don't just work hard, work fucking smart.